welcome to Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. I'm your host, Jeanette Burke, and I am delighted to be back informing and enlightening you with my guests after a brief hiatus as I was in a car accident and I continued to get better. So uh, while I was getting better, I kind of needed some wisdom and some empowerment. So I'm very happy to have with me today Anne-Marie Moulton, who is a life empowerment coach and speaker, who is going to talk to us about what it takes to get empowered when we don't always feel so special. Welcome, Anne-Marie. Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Anne-Marie. It's a pleasure to have you. I'm glad to be here. Now, Anne-Marie, one, tell us a little bit about you. I know that you moved from being a social worker to a life empowerment coach, and I'm just kind of wondering how that came about for you. Well, my background is in social work, and I've done the work for over a period of 15 years, uh, almost 16 years. I've worked with um, people from many different backgrounds and social statuses and stuff. I've always enjoyed empowering people. Like, I, I'm, I'm one of those individuals who do believe that people are greatest investment. And so I've always had the passion to motivate, to inspire and empower people. And um, over the years, I've developed the niche, the, the love, the passion to work with people on, on a different level. Even though I was providing service to individuals um, every day, I find that I felt more fulfilled um, just you know, talking to people one on one encouraging them. Uh, people oftentimes get stuck and plateaued in a place where, you know, they feel like they, they, they don't know how to go on. And I, for some reason, I, I find a way to break through those cracks and, and help people to, to see the rainbow. Okay. So you say that. people, but uh, you do a lot of work with women. Yes. And that's sort of your true passion. You're a mentor and you're also an author. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, so in the case of women, why do women need that empowering? Why, what's going on with us that we, we need that? I find that a lot of women are dealing with um, personal situations. Uh, most of the women who would come to me, they're dealing with pain and um, they're looking for a solution. They, they, they want to feel better about what they're going through. Pain around low self-esteem, self-worth issues, relationships, um, not feeling good about themselves. And you'd be surprised to know women who are doing well, um, succeeding in the workplace, women who appears to be doing well, but um, was really having a hard time personally just dealing with those um, emotional um, issues in their lives and looking for a solution. Um, and, and I help them to move from that pain point to their power point. Right. Well, mm -hmm. I'm actually having experienced quite a bit of pain lately myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I know as I go through my treatment, they often talk to us about the emotional side of pain and how the emotional side of pain can actually contribute immensely to the physical side of pain, of course. especially, you know, not just with the issues of low self-esteem, but like stronger issues such as abuse, mm -hmm. uh, fear, shame and abandonment. Right. And it's really, um, pain can often be linked to giving your power away. Right. And I think that's worth discussion. So I'd like you to kind of comment and elaborate on that about why women give their power away. Personally for me, I've dealt with my own abandonment issues. So I believe that I have the credi credibility to, to speak to this issue even more. Um, I, I've, I've had first-hand experience, so I know um, the pain from that um, personal experience, and, and that's how my book is birthed. Um, my book is really about um, the, 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 the triumph and, and over adversity and, and pain, and as it relates to abandonment issues and, and, and so many other um, issues of pain in my own personal life. So I can relate to a lot of women who are experiencing pain uh, from an emotional stance, which catapults sometimes into the, the physical. And I, I, I find that at the end of the day, really, it, it, it's, it's, it's a ripple effect 
there's so many things that contributes to pain in your life. And over the years, we, we have learned not to talk about things. We've masked a lot of our pain and not realizing that after a while, that thing becomes like a cancer in your life, whatever the pain issue is. And we have to always find a way. And I find what works for me really is that bonding, you know, having that woman who's able to sit and talk with you and to listen to you, you know, having that, that caring heart, that, that, that warmth, that understanding, someone that will walk you through the, the, traje the trajectory of, of, of that path that you've been on, a path of pain, and, and, and take you into a path of pleasure, a, a path of power, where now you can actually turn those negative experiences into a positive and not necessarily continue to feel sorry for yourself, but develop the skills and, 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 and the, the feeling of power to move on with your life and to become all that you've always wanted to be. Pain doesn't have to stop you. All right, so um, just because we're gonna run out of time, I'm going to sort of direct this interview a little bit to get specific info out. So what would be the signs that a woman needs some em empowerment coaching? She's plateaued, she's feeling stuck. She is, I mean, dealing with issues of depression, um, you know, Feelings of unhappiness. Yeah, you know, I'm succeeding. Like, like I said, you know, in the workplace, you do well, but in your personal life, you just can't seem to to, to get it together. So it's it's feeling stuck in certain areas and not knowing how to break through from that. And you know, those walls are just there. So can you give me a couple of case study examples of the tools and methods and mindset you use to rid your clients of this burden of pain? Um, I know you do one-to-one -one in group. I would like maybe just a key example of a case study, whether it was one-to-one -one or group, of some kind of tool, method, or mindset you use to help a woman free mm -hmm. from her pain and become empowered. My tool that I use, the, the modalities of what I use, is just you just talk about it, is one-on-one. -on -one. I do one-on-one um, -on -one coaching, I do groups, and I do my keynote speaking. So I'm speaking to a larger group of women. Um, really, at the end of the day, I, I use three, um, it's my principles. Um, believe in yourself. You have the power within you to do anything you want. And, you know, at the, the end of the day is knowing that everything is doable. Nothing is impossible. So it's those three, the three core principles that I use and remind people that it's, it's all about self-belief. It's all about empowering yourself to believe that you are more than what you, your, your experience, than your experience and that, you know, you can turn things around and, 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 and you can escape those experiences that you have gone through and you can create a, a, a better life and a better future away from that. All right, but give me one case study, a transformation of what you did for a client specifically to take them from point A, which was in the deepest depths of despair, to you know, a, f a free, happy life. I know we talked about this. You can give me one case study. You know what? It, one one case study that is always coming to my mind, and I'm so proud to share this with you. I have met this one young woman um, at a very pivotal point in her life who was just going through a very difficult period. It comes from a very good family. Um, her dad um, was a UN ambassador, and she herself, she went to Hosgood Hall Law School. I'll tell you a story. So she came to me, and she was just really at a very low point in her life, just dealing with all those issues that I spoke about, low self-esteem, you know, shame, and all of that kind of stuff. And that just came from being involved in a relationship that has somehow stripped her of everything beautiful about her. And so the wonderful person that she was, that her parents knew, that her friends knew, she was no longer um, feeling like she was that person. And so when she came to me she was at that low point and then we talked about like who she was before she met this person and um, what changed and what made her start believing those um, negative things about herself and we worked through it like um, we uh, mentored her for a period of time and um, it, fortunately for her she's turned her life around she managed to went she went back to university finished university and uh, went to high school to Hall law school graduated and now she's a litigation lawyer she just moved out to um, wow. Calgary and Good so for her my my system work well obviously that's yeah, a nice transformation work. yeah so what do you feel you give your clients that no other empowerment coach can you know what i i'm unique in in in, in what i deliver because at the end of the day i i'm very authentic with who i am i'm not afraid to share my own personal story of my 
my own path, my own trajectory. I, I talk about my abandonment issues and, mm -hmm. and how that affected my life. I'm also, a, you know, a single mother. I oh, you a, are. You're a single mother. Oh, yeah. Mom. I, I've raised a daughter, who, an amazing young woman who's um, completing her second degree at the um, University of Toronto. And so I know what it's like to overcome um, to triumph and, and, and struggles and, and to be the adversities. And, you know, it's my stories are always at the forefront of the work that I do because I want women to be able to um, identify themselves in me and, and, and if they could look at me and, and become, they can see the, the, the possibilities, you know, and so I use my story a lot and I, and, and, I, and I share my story because that in itself is empowering. Okay, so we've mentioned this twice in the interview and I'm going to really mention it now, but quickly, mm -hmm. that you have a new book coming out. Yes, yes. And the book is called, here I have some notes here, it says, Standing in Your Place of Power. That's yeah. a lovely title. Yes. When, when is this going to be re released and where can we get a copy? Well, I'm hoping to get my book released by the end of this year, if not earlier. Like, it's a lot of work that I'm putting in this book. It's mm -hmm. a lot of rewriting and rewriting because it, it's just the stories are endless. Mm -hmm. um, at the end of the day, uh, Facebook is always that place. I, it will always be advertised there and um, people will know. People will know that this book is coming out. I can't wait to have my book out because the intent is that I write a book that will impact many lives and I am hoping that it will cross like genres and, and, mm -hmm. and be able to reach the homes of many people who are hoping to heal from pain and, and to just triumph. Okay, so this is going to be the last question because we are running out of time and that is if you're going to get yourself an empowerment coach, someone like yourself, mm -hmm. uh, how much time and money should oh, a person expected or a woman expect to, uh, to devote or to invest into that type of a relationship? Well, you need to have at least six weeks, that is six weeks of focus. Like um, my program is a six weeks um, transition empowerment program, and it covers the three main um, points that I spoke about, which is believe in yourself. Um, you have the power within you to create the life that you want and that nothing is impossible. Everything is doable. And it, it's a six weeks program. And at the end of the day, you know, investing in yourself is, is, is invaluable. Um, your happiness is beyond uh, a money point. You, you know, I work with women from from different social strata, so it will be different from everyone. But my fee starts from seven fifty and all the way up to fifteen hundred dollars. And um, I work with people on whatever level they're at, and I'm able to walk them through the process, and we we work things out. So if anyone is interested, like we, we can talk. Like okay, I do one-on-one, okay. -on -one, I do groups, and um, I also do, like I say, seminars and keynotes. Okay. So uh, you do have a website coming out. It's yeah. going to be called Anna, A-N-N-A, Zuna. That's it. Z-U-N-A dot com, which is kind of cool. Yes. But in the meantime, we can find you on Facebook. That's it. And um, we can also call you or email you, so please give me your your. Uh, contact info. Talk to my, my contact info is um, you can email me at a molten that's a m o u l t o n at rogers.com or call me at 416 522 9204. And let's not forget about your great giveaway today. Yes. Uh, so someone is going to win this giveaway, but they really have to listen and qualify to win, which is a 45 minute free. Uh, coaching with you to get at these issues, ladies, that often keep us in the sack hole and stop us from moving forward. And by the way, the whole premise of Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV was created to bring on guest experts in this very way to keep women moving forward and out of the sack hole. So I really hope that somebody claims this prize and really benefits from a conversation with Anne-Marie because she is very good at what she does. and. She's quite right. There is only one investment in yourself. And this giveaway has a total retail value of $150. This is yes. a free giveaway. You'll have a 45 minute coaching conversation with Emery to get at what is holding you back in life so you can leap forward. Great. So um, Emery, thank you so much for coming in and speaking with me and my audience today. We do want to empower women with the tools that you have to offer. And thank you for being with us as well. Please remember to like, share, and comment on all our posts with your family and friends. You will find us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, 
Instagram, Vimeo, YouTube, Tumblr, Google Plus, uh, you name it, we're there. We're like all over the internet. Hashtag Jeanette's I'm Every Woman TV. And until next time, continue to be fabulous.